Um, yeah. Hi, guys. Okay. So, the the, the moon landing, it, it didn't quite work out the way I had planned it. I, I, just in case there was any doubt in anybody's mind, um, <laughs> Just in case anybody thought that that I was only pretending uh, to have never landed on the moon before, I think we should have definitively disproved that. Uh, yeah, that was a, a, a first attempt, something I had not tried before. Oh, oh well. It's tempting at this point. I've, I've realized a few things that I want to change about the basic design. It's tempting at this point to think about it. I think I can make a a smaller, more uh, more elegant launch vehicle. But and and also I'm thinking I have a couple of changes that I want. Actually, there is one change I want to I want to make because I just realized to my to my lander to X cart four. I just realized that I don't have enough struts. Hang on here, let's go. Uh, for the, the tip tanks, once, once I get rid of the over and under tanks, I've only got uh, one strut helping to stabilize the, the, the tip tanks. That's not good enough. Let's fix this problem. Let's just strut that thing to the wing like that. And over on the other side as well. And I'll strut that thing like that. Okay, so now down here I've got seven frames per second with this entire monstrosity loaded into the vehicle assembly building. Yeah, okay, okay. Those should make that should make my tip tanks uh, more stable. Okay, without further ado, let's try it again. Imagine I'll probably be editing out a lot of this. We don't want to repeat absolutely everything I'm grabbing my joystick trying not to knock into things okay we all set to go all right here we go moon mission attempt I, you know how many launches this is but this is the second actual attempt at the actual moon mission let's do it it's a decent launch let's go for a roll Slowly, gently. Almost over to that 90 degree line. No hurry, no hurry at all. Good, okay. Let's keep paying attention to that rudder. Let's try and keep it right on that 90. Good, okay. I actually really do like flying this whole assembly. It is, it's just challenging enough to, uh, you really have to pay attention to it. I like it. Okay, let's go for a disconnect and a thrust forward. Good, and we're spinning around. Hang on! Okay, okay. Wow, that was a pretty ugly disconnect and a... Wow. Yeah, I can do better than that. Come on. Some thrust here. Bam. Tab over. Focus on Kerbin. There's lots of people that keep on calling this planet Kerth, but it's it's just very clearly labeled on the map. It's Kerbin. So I don't know why they do that. Yep. 
and there's still... Yeah, turn the SAS off and the thing tries to yaw to the left. So I always have to, every time I turn the SAS off, just in anticipation I stomp on the right rudder pedal. Yeah, it's a pretty fairly equatorial track. I like that. Stay right at that apple apsis, so that's good, that's efficient. Thrusting away. I like the two engine design. I like the way that works. So what happened? What happened on that first run? Uh, it appears to have now I've taken a little bit closer look at uh, other people's guides. I've listened to some some advice and I've seen how people do their moon missions. Uh, is that I I shouldn't have gone for my very very low orbit. I should have uh, say had the thing up there like around like 10 kilometers and try to descend from there instead of from like two kilometers where I was. Okay. Here we go. Let's shut it down here. Let me see. Did we drain the fuel? Yes, we did. That was the, the guy. The guy's name who I forgot earlier is Cursing Bulldog. Go back and take a look at the comments. He's the guy who who gave who uh, said, "Hey, why don't you hook up the fuel lines and drain the fuel out of your out of your your space plane fuselage? You're not carrying all that weight around to the mission." I was like. Man, that's a really good idea. Cursing Bulldog, that's who that is. That's a, I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine whenever uh, in, in months and years to come as this game develops? I mean, we're going to have not just one planet and one moon. Uh, we're going to have an entire solar system. We're going to eventually, I believe the plan is to have multiple solar systems. So, um... You, you'll discover you'll discover new planets by by building observatories and make, using telescopes. You'll discover places. You'll you devise a plan to get to and explore these 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 other celestial bodies throughout throughout explored space and unexplored space. Uh, you'll have to develop the technology to get there. Once you get there, you'll have find more exotic resources to develop better technology. Uh, I am just so excited about all of the amazing things, all, all the amazing places this game is eventually going to go. Oop, there it is. Okay, okay. Here we go. Kill that time compression. Let's center this thing. Try and get this one extra precise. Dead center. All right, let's do some thrusting. And away we go. Get that map view. Yep, it's working. If I can get this down, if I if I can actually can complete this challenge, maybe I can turn my uh, energies to per, uh, pursuing some of these other challenges. I see people in the on the games forums they post so many very very creative challenges, and I want to try some of them out. <laughs> and I've got a few ideas of my own. Okay, let's actually get a thing out there. How about right about there? Okay, we'll see if that works a little bit better than the previous previous one. Yeah, again, you can tell I'm not perfectly aligned with the ecliptic, but definitely close enough. It'll work. You can see it growing, and I'm watching for that. My uh, mark. Oop. Okay, I think everything, just the perspective, everything just swapped around because I bet we did. Yep, we got captured by the moon. Oops, hang on. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay, okay, that's interesting. That's a collision course off, seriously, off the ecliptic. That's interesting. 
Okay, well, let's do a retro burn here. Okay, okay, now that... Let's bring that down here like this. Okay, that's good. I think I'm not understanding something. How am I going to fix this? How am I going to fix this? Because right now my plan is my my vehicle is going to crash. Fuel. All right. Um. Can I do a, a sideways burn kind of a thing? If I can figure out what direction to burn. Let's put it at this 90. And thrust. Okay. That's moving things in this direction. That's good. Good, okay, okay, yes, that was a good idea. That was a good idea. Now we've changed this into something survivable. Whew, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, sometimes I wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> okay. Should be seeing a big, yep, big beautiful lunar surface right there. Resting. Try and get us more or less circular. Let's go ahead and drop that periapsis down. Let's let's, let's give it say 15 kilometers. I want it at 15 kilometers. Right about there. There's 20. Okay. Oops. Overshot. 14. 14. I meant 14. I think I'm gonna try again for this the same the same crater that I was aiming for the first time around. See if I do a better job this time. Here's the edge of a crater coming up. Okay, let's do some burning. Orbital speed dropping pretty pretty quickly here. That's good. Yes. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of the last of that, so I can. Oops! Oh, that's right. Bang! And away they go. Okay, how's my arc? Oh, I'm I'm gonna land short of the crater. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, let's put it here. Move this over so I can keep an eye on all this fuel situation. Alright. Well, it's exciting. It's fun. OK, 
Okay, surface speed is about down to 60. Let's start thrusting and drops again, huh? Okay, here's my plan. Once it gets down to, let's call it 2,000, I'm going to pitch forward so I'm, I'm horizontal and I'm going to use RCS. Here, let's actually... No, here's, here's a plan. No, that's the wrong way. Let's kill a bunch of this speed right now. Good. Now... Okay, okay, here we go. I see my arcs going around all over the place. It's hard to see actually which direction I'm going. Do some pitch forward. Let's turn RCS on. Get a horizontal orientation. Turn SAS on. Let's roll more horizontal. Good. Oh, that's oh, hang on. That's not working. That's not working. Got way too much push in the front. Oh, that's not working. Okay, hang on. Try it this way. Try it this way. Okay. 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 Oh, this is scary. Oh, this is looking like a repeat of previous efforts, isn't it? Damn it! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god. Damn it! Okay, what happened there? What happened there? The the big problem that I ran into was whenever I tra whenever I switched to going forward, whenever I switched to mean going horizontal and using the RCS, my vehicle pitched up. It wouldn't. I I mean I knew that all the weight for this craft would be at back, so that's why I, I took this. That's why I took this uh, heavy port and I moved it so far back. Maybe I didn't move it back far enough. Okay. So now, now, now turn symmetry off. Okay. Okay, we'll try it this way. Oh my god. I thought, oh man, I thought I had it that time. I thought I had it. Okay, stop recording for now, and I'll be back and we'll have another attempt at this. <laughs> 